Hey everyone, it's Miss MQ with Boys and Girls Club. Now I know that we might be feeling really like restless or frustrated because we can't go outside as much as we used to or we may not be able to explore like we want, but I wanna show you a site that might allow you to do that even if it's from your own home. So one of the sites that I found over my years of teaching is called explore.org, which is a website started by Charles Weingarten who really wanted to emphasize an idea of lifelong learning and give access to those learning opportunities even when we may not be there to see them ourselves in person. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the site and show you what you can do with it. So this is what the site looks like and the really cool thing about it is that you don't have to worry about joining or logging in or creating an account because I don't even have one and I'm still able to watch the videos off of this site but it gives you a really cool look at animals and their natural habitat and some different areas around the world through a medium of live stream cameras that have been set up in those areas. And so one of the things that I like to do is watch the brown bear videos because brown bears are one of my favorite animals. So what I would do is I would click on this area, the brown bears of my Alaska, and I get to come down and see what their videos look like. So some of these are actually running live and some of them may have little notices like this where it says the cameras are either low or they may not be currently running so you can enjoy some of the highlights, you know, in this time. And so what you can do is you can go down and see all the various videos that they have in their, in their area and you can pick one of those and take a check out on it and what you can do is get to watch the videos as well as get to know more about these animals. And it's really fascinating to be able to do that on this site because they're not necessarily, some of the, some of the videos can be in a sanctuary, but these, a lot of them are not. So you get to really see the bears in their natural habitat. You get to hear the sounds that they make. You get to watch the movements they make and just really see how they, how they live, excuse me. So for the sake of this video, my sound is off on my computer, but this is just to kind of show you, you know, an example of what you could be looking at while you're on here. You just see them like roving around, just like doing their thing. And, you know, sometimes when you get, when you have the sound on, you can hear all the natural sounds in the background of that area. You can hear all the sounds the animals themselves make. And it makes for a really cool experience since this isn't something that we can really see every day or even every day if we go to a zoo and stuff like that. This just gives a very different look to it. And so one of the some of the other things that you can do on this site that are really fun is that you can get to know more about the animals by watching the variety of their videos. As I said, you can go ahead and continue reading forward and you get to see things like different comments that other people have um, from watching the videos and you get to learn more information about where the videos are taken, what habitats these animals are in. You can also continue to go down and like get to know their area a little bit better and some of the partners that they that this site works with so that way they can create these videos and have these cameras set up. And you can even go so far as to go on to different blogs and different um, different commenting sites to get more information on these bears or even look at the Q&A that's further down below these videos so that way you can learn more about what these animals want to eat or how they live or how they relate to each other and all of those types of like burning questions you might have. And another really cool thing is that I like watching the brown bears, but you can also watch a different variety of animals. They've got a lot of different things like birds, a bunch of other mammals, a lot of aquatic life, and it makes for a really interesting exploration process when I can see all of these things while I'm just sitting on my couch. It's pretty cool. So hopefully this gives you a better look at the world, and I'm hoping that it's something that can excite you a little bit and give you a little bit of entertainment and learning opportunity, even though you may be stuck inside. So enjoy your exploration around the world, everyone.